Ever heard of the big green guy who smashed things on TV back in the late 70s? Yep, that's the Incredible Hulk. It's about a scientist named David Banner who turns into a huge green monster whenever he gets super mad. What's cool about this show? Well, there are lots of interesting, surprising, and even sad things about it. Got any stories about how this show affected you? Or maybe you have a favorite actor from the show. Share your thoughts below. We want to hear all about your memories and experiences with this awesome classic TV show. Keep watching for more fun facts about The Incredible Hulk. The television series The Incredible Hulk, airing from 1978 to 1982, is an important part of superhero history. It tells the story of Dr. David Bruce Banner, a genetic scientist played by Bill Bixby. The show stands out because it portrays its characters in a more human way compared to other superhero shows at the time. The Incredible Hulk combines elements from The Fugitive and Frankenstein. Banner, who accidentally causes the death of his colleague Dr. Elaine Marks, is wrongly accused and chased by reporter Jack McGee, similar to The Fugitive. This adds depth to the story as Banner struggles internally while avoiding capture. The show focuses on the Hulk, played by Lou Ferrigno. Even without speaking, Ferrigno effectively shows the Hulk's emotions, making viewers feel both scared and sympathetic. Especially in the early seasons, the show creates tension, particularly in the transformation scenes. Although there have been other adaptations of the character, none have matched the impact of the original TV show. It remains the standard for portraying the Hulk, thanks to the great performances by Bixby and Ferrigno. In short, The Incredible Hulk is a groundbreaking show that humanizes superheroes with engaging storytelling and memorable performances. It continues to influence superhero media today. The Incredible Hulk, a TV series from the late 70s, stands out for several reasons. Firstly, it's notably the first science fiction show to incorporate four Western or country-themed episodes into its storyline. These episodes include The Waterfront Story, Escape from Los Santos, Vendetta Road, and Jake. Regarding the action sequences, the lead actor, Bill Bixby, seldom suffered injuries during the Hulk outs. Throughout the series, both Bixby and Lou Ferrigno, along with their stunt doubles, Frank Orsatti and Manny Perry respectively, managed to avoid severe injuries with only occasional minor bumps and bruises. One unique characteristic of the Hulk's appearance is his barefootedness. However, during outdoor scenes, Lou Ferrigno, who portrays the Hulk, often wore Hulk green slippers to protect his feet. This detail is particularly noticeable in the episode Terror in Times Square as the Hulk rampages through the streets of New York. The Incredible Hulk series from the late 70s had plans for another TV movie after the death of the Hulk. However, the passing of Bill Bixby halted that possibility. In his autobiography, Lou Ferrigno mentioned meeting fans who wanted to see more of the Hulk. He believed more screen time would justify his makeup struggles and pushed for three Hulk appearances per episode. But producers rejected the idea due to budget concerns. Dr. Banner had two wives, Laura, who died in a car accident, and Dr. Carolyn Fields, who died of illness and was his wife when the second season began. In the 1977 TV series The Incredible Hulk, the character Dr. Pulaski was portrayed by an actress who had previously appeared in the original Star Trek series. She later returned to Star Trek The Next Generation, but under the condition that her character's name be changed to Catherine. During her time away from Star Trek, she played another doctor in the hunt for Red October. However, when she returned, she couldn't reprise her role in Patriot Games, which then went to Ann Archer. Bill Bixby, who played a significant role in the series, was notably older than his co-star Lou Ferrigno by almost 18 years. Ted Cassidy, although uncredited, provided the voice of the Hulk and narrated the show's opening. Cassidy's voice talent wasn't limited to just the Incredible Hulk, he could also be heard in other comic book adaptations of the time. He voiced Ben Grimm Thing in the Fantastic Four animated series and lent his voice to various characters, including some supervillains in the Super Friends franchise, which was based on characters from Marvel's rival, District of Columbia Comics. In 1984, two years after the series went off the air, Bill Bixby offered Nicholas Hammond a chance to reprise his titular role from the Amazing Spider-Man TV series in a proposed Hulk Spider-Man TV movie crossover. This would have been distributed by Universal Pictures and Columbia Pictures. Hammond agreed to the offer, but Universal Studios eventually canceled the project, claiming that Lou Ferrigno was unavailable. However, Ferrigno said that he was never contacted about the project, 
and had no knowledge of it until he discovered the information while working on his autobiography in 23. Because David Banner never has any recollection of his actions as the Hulk, Bill Bixby did not watch Lou Ferrigno perform on set, and Ferrigno was never present for Bixby's scenes. Whenever Dr. Banner chose an alias, he always used the first name of David, his own first name, and his last name always began with a B, since his last name was Banner. Strangely, nobody thought of using the name David Bixby. In the Incredible Hulk series, each episode starts with a word anger displayed on screen, which then reveals the word danger on the gamma ray device. When the Hulk appears, Lou Ferrigno's voice is not heard. Instead, other actors dub his vocals. However, Ferrigno later voices the Hulk in animated projects and CGI depictions. He also makes cameo appearances in the live-action Hulk movies from 2003 and 2008. Ken Johnson, the show's creator, expressed frustration working with Stan Lee, the Hulk's comic book creator and consultant for the series. Johnson felt that Lee's suggestions for story ideas often didn't resonate well with TV viewers as they worked better in the comic book format. Bill Bixby, the lead in the TV series The Incredible Hulk, often brought on actors from his past shows. In one instance, an uncredited extra who had previously worked on Bixby's 1973 series, The Magician, appeared in The Incredible Hulk. Fans named her the Mystery Woman. The series is set in the Earth 400,005 Marvel Universe. The 2008 movie The Incredible Hulk pays homage to the TV series in various ways. Notably, Edward Norton's character attempts to translate the famous line, Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry into Portuguese. Also, a character named Jack Magee shoots cell phone footage of an attack at the university, echoing the TV series. Additionally, there's a brief moment in Guatemala where Norton's character walks to the theme from the TV series. The lead actor in the 1977 TV series The Incredible Hulk, often seen portraying characters holding the title Doctor, had significant roles in Star Trek lore. Notably, she played biologist Dr. Anne Mulhall, psychologist Dr. Miranda Jones, and physician Dr. Catherine Pulaski, each showcasing an open-minded perspective. During the show's airing, the lead actor, Bill Bixby, was cautious never to be photographed with his co-star, Lou Ferrigno, in the Hulk makeup. He believed that such images would dispel the illusion for children and fans that they were distinct individuals. Despite tabloid attempts to capture them together, they remained elusive. In the latter part of the series, Bixby faced personal tragedies, including the illness and subsequent passing of his young son, along with the suicide of his ex-wife. Ferrigno noted that this affected Bixby's performance, with his heart not fully invested in the final two seasons. The TV series depicted David Banner, who transformed into the Hulk twice in most episodes. The first change usually occurred about 20 to 30 minutes into the show, with the second happening during the climax. The Incredible Hulk received Emmy nominations, notably for Outstanding Music Composition, Outstanding Cinematography, and Outstanding Lead Actress, with Mariette Hartley winning in 1979. In one episode, he appeared on a talk show with a wrestler named Terry Boulder, who was larger than him. Boulder's friends nicknamed him Hulk, leading to him being known as Hulk Hogan.